given a name to my pain. Hey now, and this is uh, on camera, on camera here. Pete's got a old Brooklyn Dodgers ball yes, cap do. on. Yes, do. I'm representing the uh, Dallas Cowboy Football Club, and I'm also representing, uh, Pete, I wore this for you. Thank you, I appreciate it. It's a big day, okay. it's a big it, day. It's, it's like Christmas you know, morning. So uh, I'm wearing my That's Batman fine. basketball jersey and kind of I, because of the map. I, I wore my uh, dad gum, gum original. original and yes because it's big it's big night big game today big tonight in in dallas with the mavericks and the clippers the mavs can win the series with a win tonight no no home team pete vera has won a I game saw yet i thought i thought it was very interesting i think it's like the second time it's happened in the history of the nba so so It'll be I, interesting. Hey, everyone, uh, we will have a new NBA champion. The Lakers are eliminated, so maybe the Mavs can win their uh, second that's title. That's correct. That's correct. They got a good young team. Um, Anita, I mean, Luka Doncic is a pretty awesome player. I don't, yes, much, I don't know how much you've seen of him, but yeah, he's a heck of a player. Not much, but I mean, I, I catch the highlights, you know, but yeah. uh, he's legit. I just wonder, I don't worry about him, you know, going somewhere else when he can at some point not staying in dallas but he, i mean not too many dirt hey dirt Dirk I mean, stayed you know, his whole career 20 years you know there's not many of them around anymore nope and albert pool host is on his third team already <laughs> <laughs> true 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 all right we're gonna make this is not really an emergency i guess it kind of is i mean the the driving force is what we're going to talk about uh and i'm bill jet ramey by the way pull up a drink pull up a bar, pull up the bar belly up get a drink of whatever milk Chocolate milk. Pete, what do you got? Anything there? You got it? What do you got? Uh, uh, just soda? Uh, just some water. Just some water. water. Good. Good. Oh, well, I can win those, well, those big water thing jugs with the, with the messages on it as you go. You ever seen those? No. How much you're supposed to drink a day and you're here, no. like, you know, by 3 p.m., 2 p.m., you know, 2, 3, 4, by, you know. So, I don't know. Right. Yeah, they're cool. All right. Whatever you uh, got to do. <laughs> whatever you got to do. All right. So, we're going to talk about uh, the director of The Flash. Andy Muschietti, I say that correct? Uh, don't ask me. I think it's either Muschietti, Muschietti, Muschietti. Muschietti. But uh, Andy M, friend of the show, Andy M. Okay. Mr. Andy, the director, um, he posted something on his Instagram, a picture on his Instagram that was kind of cool. And it is, well, it's kind of this, mm -hmm. essentially. But it is on a bat suit and it is on and the logo is much more rounder than this and it's very similar yeah. to the batman returns bat logo because it doesn't have the extra scallop things from 89 and, and it, it looks like it's the uh the batman returns kind of and the batman chest returns plate. chest plate yes and it seems to be a little more armored up and we'll talk about that in a second so and that's obviously that's Michael Keaton's bat suit that he hopefully will wear in the Batman. So, what was your reaction when you saw this drop on social media or on me? The I <laughs> uh, I was ecstatic. Uh, it's it's been a long time coming for the Oval. Uh, 1995 is a long time away. The last time we saw it, Val Kilmer wore it. Um, yeah. Clooney, no. Uh, Bale, no. Affleck, no. You know it's. That's quite a bit of movies. Uh, I, I'm pumped for it. I'm glad um, that it's back. Interesting. I, I I just felt they would do something nostalgic and go with the '89 with the extra little. Ones I did on the too. Bottom. I thought that was going to happen, but now that I look at this picture, maybe it's some sort of um, update to the return suit. Uh, maybe uh, Keaton's Batman just made some tweaks along. The way. I mean, you know, Batman's always tweaking suits, right? Yeah. So. 
he's never outside of I think from begins to I guess rises he's never really worn the same suit twice I feel like every movie's got a new suit yeah, yeah. I guess rises was that about it were there, were there words only just no begins yeah yeah begins because he wore the, he wore the same suit and begins and Dark Knight and then he wore yeah. the suit, so it's like there's that okay. little overlap but um yeah for the most I hate but you know I, I mean you know what that means it means there's action figures <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, for sure. so there's that. I mean, BVS said how many Batman figures alone because there were so many suits. Um, so yeah, there and there's you know there's no. Uh, I don't. I in case I missed it, I don't think I did. There was no. Uh, he didn't comment. He just posted the picture. That's it. That's all you need, right? It kind of goes back to uh, what eighty nine, yeah. where that was just sold. Batman eighty nine movie. Was just yeah, those, I mean, you know, you've heard you everywhere. You just need the yeah. logo, and uh, everyone's everyone's uh, commenting that you know. Giving vibes of Watchmen because of you know the yellow and the blood. And I'm like, okay, that's, that's okay. Interesting. So that's I don't know what the blood means. Okay, let's uh, just go ahead. With that. Okay, the, the one thing is there is a blood, little blood dripping. Uh, unless he, it's late night or early morning, and he was having some kind of strawberry jelly or jam on a. Get a donut. Uh, you know, or hey, maybe a raspberry we donut. We know Batman gets drive through so he, he just does. went to his local exactly. Dunkin' Donuts okay. and got him, uh, you know, a tall black coffee and a jelly donut. And that's put there for a reason, and that's to get people talking about it. That's why we're yeah. talking about it right now. What does the blood mean? I think you talk mean? about it regardless, but the blood's a little kind of, it's, you know, the icing on the cake, so to speak. Yeah, I, I have no we'll idea, see. no idea what that means. We'll see what happens. Hopefully we get, like, another little tease in the trailer or whatever. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know, uh, but it's it's a, it's an interesting little talking point, and uh, I'm, I'm just... I'm just really happy it's back. You know, it's it's cool. It's it's one of those little Batman things that's been a gone gone for a while, and uh, it'd just be nice to see it return. You know, just something small. Yeah, and it clearly, and it also differentiates itself from the the Pat what Pattinson is going. You know, the bat emblem on his. They're suit. very different. They're very. Oh different. yeah, completely. And uh, and because there's always talks that like bat, Pattinson is actually some sort of contraption, some sort of device. Yeah. Bat rumor, like who knows if that's true. Yeah. That's the blood of that bat logo. <laughs> like, what does this mean? Like, I don't know. Just, sure. Hey, um, but I'm I'm excited. Yeah, it's just it's cool. Like these, th this is what like uh, you know, and like you know, Snyder's really good at this is teasing stuff on social media, and you know, getting everyone excited and talking about it. And I, I kind of like what uh, Muccietti's doing, and it's just cool. You know, uh, David F. Sandberg did it recently too. He teased the Sam, Sam too. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Captain Marvel around these Captain parts. Captain Marvel, the real Captain Marvel did. <laughs> The original Captain it. Marvel, his suit, yeah. um, that's being teased. So it's cool, these little, like, you know, whether it's a 30-second video or just something cool like this, these stills, I like it when these directors do this stuff. I like the fact that I think Matt Reeves has been more accessible with that kind of stuff uh, than, of course, <laughs> than Chris Nolan was, for sure, you know? Uh, he, yeah. has, he has given us some stuff. I mean, hell, hell, that dude was giving his hints. A year before the movie even started filming, who was going to be yeah, in with those '66 uh, mannequins? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, as we get closer to the Batman, we'll hopefully get Reeves get is more definitely not subtle. Mr. Reeves. No. <laughs> so, um, besides the blood, which we have no idea, we know clearly it looks like the Batman Returns logo and the Batman Returns chest piece. The thing looks a little bit like just from the little bit you could see, maybe the shoulder area or whatnot. It could be a little bit more armored, and that's that's one of the rumors that. I've heard, and I'm sure other people have heard, that he is, um, I mean, he's 70 years old, or he's going to be an aged Bruce Wayne Batman, um, mm -hmm. and he may need a little bit of uh, not only extra protection or some kind of uh, enhancement, you know, with his bat suit. So uh, maybe something like a, a Batman 89 slash returns version of the Kingdom Come type of of suit is that is that good if, if, if that's the case are you fine are you good with that or did you want the like the old school <laughs> to be brutally suit? honest and i'm i'm gonna get i'm gonna get crucified for this i don't like the batman kingdom come suit i love the story a lot of like yeah that story with when it even like a character like the flash i go back and forth with how i like it the, the way that ross just interpreted how they looked as they got older was interesting superman i love but yeah uh, I, it's not my favorite suit i kind of I, I would kind of like something along the lines of maybe at 89 returns mixed with that BVS armor suit, something like that, kind of, you know, that's kind of what I'm guessing getting going on. Like I guess I'm like more. You know, what I mean more is uh, when dark, I say you know, Kingdom Come, uh, it would be like he needs he needs a suit that enhances his 
So you're thinking Diminished like something... capabilities, not that's, maybe aesthetically, see, that, but that sounds yeah. more like Batman Beyond. Like that's what that sounds like to me. That sounds like the the black Batman Beyond suit. You know, like the one with uh, uh, the red bat. You, uh, what was it? Um, yeah, there was one he with Bruce Wayne wore in an episode. It was like the first episode he wore that suit, and then he retired after. Yeah, he had and it had what was the bill in the one that looked, it was like turning a liquid and stuff. Ink. Ink. Yeah. Yeah. Th- yeah. 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 Okay. But uh, that's to me, it sounds more like that. Maybe it'll be, be more streamlined and won't necessarily be as yeah. rigid as like the mech suit from BBS and Dark Knight Returns. Yeah, I think it would. I, th- I think it's they're going to be way more streamlined. I so, do. like, then yeah. I lean more towards like, oh, that sounds more like the Batman Beyond suit. Yeah. But not I, as kind of techie. I think they'll have, I think the cow will be more like, it won't be closed, you know, it'll be more. No, no, it'll have an open mouth. You know, yeah, it'll be it'll, the, it'll, the cow. It'll be, which he did, like a, he had that in Kingdom Come. You didn't have that in, and you had it in the, in the Dark Knight. And this is going to be a weird comparison, but like, think of it as like the RoboCop 2014 suit. Sure. You know, like, little, it's little, like they took that bulky RoboCop from the 80s and they really streamlined that gotcha. down. Gotcha. Yeah. You know? I so got something you. like that. And it, that looks kind of like armor plating and it was kind of like updated for the time and the era where they tried to make that movie made. Yeah. What you think they'll you think they'll do something for um, he'll throw out something for say um, Ben Affleck's Batman? I mean, we know what his logo looks like, so I don't and I'm not 100 percent sure he's here's my he's, like, he's this is Batman like, in it. This is my idea. I don't think Affleck shows up as Batman. I think we see Affleck as Bruce Wayne. I I agree with that just based on some scuttlebutt that I heard. Um, they did well. He did have his director's chair. We saw that both both the bat Batman, where the director's chairs were shown. Um, of course, I like to see something more. I mean, it is the Flash. Maybe we'll get something with Ezra Miller uh, yeah, I, showing us a little bit more of his new costume. We saw we saw the logo. We got a little bit of music and everything. The, the, the yeah. last time we got anything from this film, so I don't know if I want to see the new suit. I, I, don't, I don't need I, a lot. I don't need a lot. I you know? kind of want like the new suit to come. Like, this is in my head. I feel like the suit is something that he will maybe create in the film and he gets it later on. So I don't know if, if that's the case. Then I don't want to see the new suit. But if they're just going to start off the movie with it, then like, all right, fine. Did they? Um, didn't they say that he gets it from one of the Batman? Well, one of the Bruce Wayne? I don't Wayans? remember. I remember back in the day, uh, Flash was going to get a new suit by the end of Justice League from uh, Affleck, and for whatever reason, that didn't happen. Okay. I don't know. That, that's the last time I heard anything. What about we'll what about? You're supposed to get a new suit. Do you want to see Supergirl, like a logo or anything? That would be cool. Uh, it'd be interesting to see. I mean, oh man, <laughs> what that logo looks like can spark a lot of controversy on Twitter, depending yeah. on how that S looks. So maybe they're trying to avoid that closer to maybe like a trailer or something. I don't know. And that depends. Like maybe she's not a, a huge part of the movie. Maybe this is kind of like a jumping off point for that character. I maybe she's not a. Really I'm willing big part to of the bet. Film. I bet the S does not look like the traditional Superman S, like we like the S we see on the Supergirl CW show. You know. You think it's more along the line? So then it's different than what Cavill wore. I think it's different than what Cavill wore too. Yeah. It'd be interesting. I that's I that's pure speculation, y'all. I bet it's different. We'll see. I don't yeah, know. Absolutely. I have no idea. But right. uh, that'd be cool. Okay. That'd Where's be the your... third logo we need, right? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. yeah so, and, and um, just in terms of, of Batman on film, what, what's your, you equally excited for, for Keaton's return and Bat, Bat, Ben Affleck's Batman send Bruce Wayne send off and as you are with the Batman, it's all le- on equal footing, equal, you know, equal anticipation. I, or, I am more excited for the Batman. Okay. It is, it, it is a Batman movie, like first and foremost, whereas this is a Flash movie where Batman's almost immediate. You know, while seeing, <laughs> Ke- while, while yeah. seeing Keaton's cool, and I, I can't wait, and I'm excited, and yeah. I love the Affleck Batman. Uh, while seeing them, it's maybe they interact or not on screen. That would be interesting in itself. But um, it's cool. It makes me really interested in the movie because, you know, the Flash movie, you've always been kind of weary about. Is this movie ever going to get made? At like, one point, I thought the movie was cursed. I, I'd, 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 I'm with you. I said for a long time, I'll believe it when I see it in the theater. 
I, be, I believe the it theater, now. Not the theater. The, the theater. Not the th theater. You guys got that? Theater. Yes, sir. <laughs> Speaking of the Batman, which I am super excited about, and we're yeah. down, down to about, what's oh, the 4th of June? So we're, what, nine months away, huh? Um, Every day we're getting closer. <sighs> All right. Everyone in home, I want you to listen to me. Okay. I want you to listen to me. <laughs> okay. I don't know if the Batman is going to be good. I don't know if I'm going to like the Batman. I may see it and not like it. I don't have no idea. I'm super excited for it. I think it's going to be right up my alley with, with it. I think it's even more grounded in the Nolan films, which believe it or not, that's possible. But don't believe this bullshit you're hearing online about Warner Brothers hates it, and Matt Reeves and, and uh, Pattinson are going to fisticuffs. And unfortunately, this, this ridiculous rumor involving, I'm not even going to bring it up because it's so, it, it's just ridiculous. I mean, it's tabloid X, tabloid times 12 type of shit involving the Batmobile and Pattinson and Zoe Kravitz and her current status post what could happen when that happens that makes any sense it's all bullshit um there seems to be well that stuff here's the deal here let me tell you why this happens i mean let me tell you it happens because you at you at home and pete it happens because you put out that you just make that shit up you make it up you put it out there and people are going to read it i mean they're going to flock to it and then they'll have these other these other suspect outlets pick it up and report it and it, it's all bullshit it's made up shit i mean i can't I, I'm, I'm i'm gonna promise you something i could i could do this I, on batman on film i could make up what pete two three stories a day of complete horseshit involving batman the batman or whatever and they would get my my pete our traffic would 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 multiply times 10. And of course, a lot of people who are these, the, that would read it would call bullshit on it, but they will keep reading it. And then they would, and they'll rage, they'll rage on the outlets and do this. But yet they still, they still bring it up and post it and to talk about it. As my neighbor starts to weed eat his, his, uh, his, his yard as I'm finishing up this, this vlog social hour so that's that's where i'm gonna end it don't believe it just wait okay and I, i'll tell you this does it sound like warner brothers is upset with matt reeves pete when thank you sir thank you for doing this your yard work right when i'm finishing my show um <laughs> they not only are they he's in charge of the batman yes. he is executive producing and heavily involved in a HBO Max spinoff, the Gotham City Police Department spinoff. And on top of that, Pete, he's one of the producers of the new Batman Cape Crusader animated series on HBO Max. So why are they going in the bat business with him? Well, clearly Matt Reeves is hogging all the Batman stuff, so they want somebody else in there. Oh, they want it. Okay. So. <laughs> I don't know. Who knows? Um, I mean, let's just, you know, do the math. We'll here. see. You know, you got to be careful where you get your news. We always talk about that. We always mention that. Clickbait's out there. Just be weary. Um, you know, you guys know who they are. They're exactly. mentioned often. <laughs> That's the, I, you know what? I'll leave it at that. You know who they are. You know what they are. So keep that in mind when you read you know this this nonsense that's all i got on that rant so pete let's get the hell out of here Tw uh not tweet plug whatever you would like you can follow me on social media that's uh twitter instagram and zach Snyder's favorite bureau at pete illustrated you can follow uh one of my podcasts straight out of gotham straight underscore o underscore g i co-host that with uh, the champion of long island eric holzman you can also follow me at uh, italians for spidey uh the italian spider-man coalition podcasts which i co-host with the uh 
sausage meatball duo of the vigilante 1939 podcast nico and his father nick uh we've talked about various spider-man podcasts we dropped our first episode last week uh check out batmanonfilm.com batman on film youtube for all my reviews and interviews and uh cool stuff uh toy reviews and all that jazz and uh, make sure you check out at team yellow oval on twitter where we are celebrating the return of our wonderful little oval for the first time since 1995 so uh pop some champagne will you sounds good have you uh i know you sent me some pictures of of, of a smoker going during memorial weekend what did you oh, roll I did. out I, what did you uh, roll out i had uh i smoked a lot of ribs uh, i grilled some chicken um yeah burgers hot dogs just had a few friends over in the rain and uh <laughs> time so it was a, a nice little quiet memorial day weekend we had some good time good friends good food i took i marinated some chicken breast overnight and then i mm-hmm. butterflied and then i stuffed them i had made a, a shrimp and andouille sausage jambalaya and i had some left and i stuffed those chicken breasts with the jambalaya and i rolled them I wrapped them in bacon and i smoked them and they were good they weren't they're pretty good. That was my that was my cooking for Memorial Day. So, and I'm gonna apologize to my neighbor. That's not him out it's there. Not picked up. That is uh, <laughs> that is my lawn people here. Unexpectedly. Oh, they um, must be Texans fans. Well, probably, probably. Damn it, they don't like Batman for some reason. All right, uh, let's see. Let's see what I got. Well, you can find me on Batman on film. Um. You know what? Detective is the best Batman book right now. Yeah. 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 Batman is losing me, man. Uh, you're not the only one. I've been a, a I've been a, I've been a I've been a Batman first, detective second for a, a while, but it's um Really? That's it's you, you know a lot of people are like that. I find myself uh being one of the few people who prefers detective over Batman. Yeah. And and I when I say over, I mean you know, uh one rel- relatively movie. speaking you know so but yeah. I, batman man i just i don't yeah. know i don't even want to re- be reading them i know? like joker war but after joker war he uh tiny yeah. has peaked and valleyed it's been up and down yeah um whereas i think detective like you said earlier i mean tamaki's writing just a, an incredible grounded batman story in the uh brownstones of gotham i did want to show you and i showed you earlier but yeah this, I guess, is new edition. This is a Batman uh, and Robin Batmobile. Mm-hmm. I'm actually going to put it over there, not behind me. This is over there is where I got my 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 Burton Schumacher tribute area. I got here. I got something for you. All right. This is, and I know you'll really. I hit the mic. I know you're really going to love this. I got Batman <laughs> Hush unwrapped. One of your favorites. I, now, what's interesting? Yeah, I thought this would. I thought this was like a noir edition because I recently got into yeah. uh, Killing Joke Noir. F- fantastic uh, interpretation of the story. But this is like, it's kind of finished. You can see here, you can see word bubbles and sound effects and all that jazz. And they're colored can in. Can you see that? Sorry. But this is one. Jim Lee's like sketch. You can see the X's where he wants things like colored and shaded. Uh, you know, some images are better than others. But uh, it's a really, it's, it's almost like a work print kind of. Oh, it's cool. Yeah, and uh, I really got into it, and uh, I know you love this story. It's one of your. Okay. I don't. I don't hate Hush. Uh, I think it's. I, I think th- it's overrated. Think, I don't. I, I, just, I don't understand. I don't think it's a, a. I don't think it's when you talk about classic Batman stories. I don't. It's, don't think it's. I just. I just. I want to pitch. Here's here. I got an idea. I want an idea. I'm going to pitch to you, and then I'll pitch it to Lauer officially. Yeah. Let's have. Let's do a Batman book club okay. debate. Me and you, and Lauer. Uh, about Hush and why it's great, and okay. then you could say why it's not. I think it would be sure. fun. I think it'd be fun. You know, it's why people get to know you more in yeah. depth and everything instead yeah. of just that cranky guy on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> I've been being really positive on Twitter. I've been trying to put right. cool but yeah, stuff yeah, you got a rep. You got a rep. You, you know, you jet. Yeah. You know, you hate everything. You borderline love nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I would be, it's a shock when people meet me in real life. You know, it, it really is. Yeah, you're a jerk. Yeah. Um, speaking of meeting me in real life, we'll be 
hell, the, you'll be up here for the Batman watch party. I can't you know wait. It, man. I'm excited. We were just, yeah. We got to find out whatever the Mavs or the uh, star schedule yeah. is. We'll probably catch you. Hopefully, we'll catch a game. No, I, I, I bet one or the other will be there. Is they they in they're in the same arena, so mm -hmm. you got to yeah. you know there's kind of work out logistically sometimes. I did throw it before I get my plugs. I finally found a frame for this. This is an original. This is, uh, this yeah. is one of the original posters that I picked up back when I went to a. Um, uh, uh march uh i uh, i believe in harvey Dent, take, you know march okay uh, for the viral campaign and i think i got some as part of the viral campaign they, they mailed to me because i was like i mean i remember getting the voter registration card for gotham city and all that stuff and i would get some stuff like that from the uh you know from i Warner wasn't Brothers lucky Mark, enough uh, to get those what i did was i either like screen print screened or like saved as that picture and printed it out myself i still have them in like a manila folder like I it was like them. because um i was getting all that because they were, they were giving stuff to the press mm -hmm. earlier like i got a batman towel because i was part of the the what were they what do they what do they, what do they call that sons group? of batman sons of batman like? yeah know, sons of the yeah. bat some of them letters from it, it, that legion of gotham that know. was awesome anyway so i finally i, I printed that and you got I any have, space left in that office you've been hanging up everything i got a few i got how's I got the some, ceiling look I got, it's doable <laughs> it's it, it'd be you put stuff up there also i found these Oh man, I want one of those. I might maybe able to make that happen. <laughs> I appreciate. I am getting this frame. You have perks. I'm getting this frame. Oh, great. So I got. I can't find a frame. Is it online. like? Are there real articles? It's yes. like a real paper. That's yes. Man, I'm gonna have it. Good too. Yeah, I'm gonna have it framed. I mean, look. Yeah, look, man. I mean, for real. Articles. That's fantastic. I mean, there's really even is. there's even ads. It's so interesting. And I, I remember, I think one, of, I don't know if it's this one, but there's another one here. I, okay, I remember, I remember that picture. Okay, so there's it's awesome. somewhere, it's great. I don't know, I'm not gonna waste time doing it, but there's like a um, letter to the editor. And one of the, one of the letters is from Edward Nashton, which is gonna be- Ah, uh, that's great. There's gonna be, um, that that's the name of the Riddler in the Batman, mm -hmm. you know, the Edward Nashton version, mm -hmm. uh, Enigma, and I believe there's an ad in one of them for the Iceberg Lounge. You like that because you have a you sure. do. <laughs> I do. Ah, and it, you yeah. know me, anything involving Oswald, you know, <laughs> that's another one. I gotta get. We gotta talk Batman Returns, me and you. I gotta talk Returns with you one day. We need to do a show on it. I'd love to. I'll do it. I'm. You know what? I may watch it just for the. Oh man! I gotta be able to watch Batman Returns. After after. I, I'll watch it on a loop for 24 seven before I watch the film from 2016 that I will not mention. Now I see I was all, look how giddy I was and happy as all my Batman, new Batman toys and that old Batman toys I found and framing stuff. And then, and you were so happy you got to look at Hush. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, all right, I could get on a roll here of, of Batman. I thought this so. show was over. We just went like 20 minutes. I know, I just, this, this one might actually be an hour now. And there's some things, I, one more thing. I do like, I found those 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 eight by 10, are they uh, 11 by 12, those Batman 10s. You know what I'm talking about? 10 wall art, they're made, it's like a 10, yes. 10, 10 yes. and there's uh, not 10, the number, you know, 10 and 10, 10s, T-I-N, not 10. Ten. I can't say it the correct way, you know, 10, 10. Ten. Up, 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 up here in Texas, pew, pew, pew. and same same number. But I found some of those. One day we're just we need we need to do a show. You just did you, a tour of the office. You like not need too long to do ago. a show. I've moved some stuff around and rearranged stuff. <laughs> he moved he moved his Batmobile. Like you three need quarters to. The left. We need to. You need to take a camera and go through your collection and just talk about any stories behind these items and where you got okay. it and stuff like that. I'll go and, check out the basement. I'll, um, go I'll, I'll go dig up something I haven't seen before. I'll try to get something I didn't get in the last video. That's what I'll try to do. I got a Dark Knight Rogers, Mr. Potato Head. You think that's going to be worth anything now that he, 
He's not called Mr. Potato Head anymore. Do you have the box? Uh, it's in the box. Never been oh, out. Oh, then yeah. Is it in the box? Like you never even opened it? I never opened it. You know how Probably. I Probably. I don't open up stuff. I did. I open wouldn't up. open that. I, the figures I do because I like to put them on. Stands. I opened up a few figures. You'll be proud of me. I did. I'm open very up proud. Of I saw the pictures. I opened up a few figures. So, like, I'll, I'll put here. I'll put it on the show. I'll take a picture. Put it up here right now. All right, real quick. <laughs> Find me on Twitter at Batman on Film. You want just Batman on Film news feed, just links to Batman on Film stuff, including the style of the stuff Pete does or I do, and anybody else involved with Batman on Film except for Rick Shue because he doesn't do anything for Batman on Film anymore. <laughs> I'm at at the Batman on Film. <laughs> plagiarism uh, <laughs> when you plagiarize a text that's pretty serious that's all serious I got offense. on that one <laughs> uh, if you like all these shows here uh, that are affiliated with Batman on film you can find lots of them at batmanpodcastnetwork.com and on twitter at batpodnetwork thanks to Ryan Haas shout out to him Oh, you want to mention Ryan's got a Ryan had a big. Uh, oh, it's been a big week uh, for the, uh, the Bat Boys. Yeah, yes. Ryan Haas is a fan of Super Mario Brothers movie, and you probably know, they put together a, a extended the, cut. The extended of cut film? of the 1993, I believe, movie starring uh, Bob Hoskins and John Leguizamo. So there's a, I think it adds like 20 minutes to the actual film. Uh, Ryan is a big. Uh, video game aficionado, Nintendo, Mario, like it's, that's his jam. So uh, him and his buddy, I forgot his name, so I apologize, but they run the SMB Movie Archive. They're on Twitter at, I believe, SMB Movie. Uh, check them out. Great guys doing uh, doing some good work and uh, doing it very nicely. Well done, Ryan. All of, all of these, y'all been with me since y'all were kids. A lot of y'all are just <laughs> with, reading, reading Batman on film. Um, Batman film tw- turned 23 the other day, Pete. Can mm-hmm. you believe that? Yeah. 23 years old. Wow. I feel like we just wore those BOF 20 shirts yesterday. Yeah. It's going to head up to 25. Uh, let's see what else I got. Uh, I think it's about, oh, Patreon. If you like what we do here, Batman on Film, Patreon, patreon.com slash Batman on Film. And that's all I got for Pete. I am Bill. And thanks for watching. Watching this time. Yes. This will be, there'll be an audio version too. We'll catch you next time. Thanks. <laughs>